Hello and welcome to the 19th video in my series on getting started with AutoCAD. My name is Chris and in this video we're going to talk about the stretch command. Please note I'm using AutoCAD 2015. If you're not using it, you're going to look different. Let's get started. So um, let's start by pulling open a drawing here. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and just control O, select a, a uh, drawing here. We're just going to get the floor plan on this. And here we go. Now, the stretch command is really fantastic, but it can be a bit of a pain in the neck to use, which is why I've honestly saved it until this point. I figure at this point, if you followed my tutorials, you should have a fairly decent understanding of how to get around AutoCAD by this point. So using the stretch command shouldn't be um, complete Greek to you. So let's go ahead and start by turning off some of these layers. There's a, a command you can use to just pick layers and turn them off. It's called layoff, L-A-Y-O-F-F. -F. And we're going to turn off our annotation, our dimensions. Come on, you little router. Let's see here. Let's see what layer these are on. We'll turn it off. One dim B. What is this? It's a dimension. So let's go over here to one dim B. Turn that off. Okay. Now we've got this drawing, and let's say that I want to take my building and I want to stretch it out an additional foot. Now you could take this and you could um, redraw and redraw and redraw and redraw. And in this case, I'm actually working with a block. Um, let's see if the rest of this. So what I'm going to do, just really quick for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm going to burst this block. Okay. Let's say we want to pull the whole thing out, you know, a foot. So what we can do is we can use the stretch command. So let's go ahead and type stretch. And you pick your first corner. And again, this works with the left dragging and with the right dragging. Um, I'm going to do a left dragging stretch window because I want it to stretch everything that it touches. So I'm going to grab all of that. You'll notice it looks like it selected a whole bunch of other stuff, but only the things that were in that window are the things that are going to actually move. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch, and we're going to pull it over 12 inches, and there we have our stretched thing. And now it looks like this didn't stretch with the scoffered ceiling. So let's go ahead and stretch the ceiling here, 12 inches, and there we go. So the stretch command is really great at doing big batch stretches but it can be a bit of a pain in the neck to deal with, especially if you're working with more complicated geometry and you've got things that you that you just can't get around that you don't want to stretch that are in the way of things that you do want to stretch. So we're going to talk about some, some ways that we can do that. Now the big thing to remember about the stretch command, the one crucial element to remember about the stretch command is that anything that's inside that rectangle, that marquee that you drag, if it's left dragging, is going to stretch. So let me show you here really quick. So let's say I select just this. Now when I go to stretch, it's going to stretch just those elements. You can see here, everything else stays where it is. But anything that's tied to that vertex, these vertices that were inside of, of my marquee, are going to move when I go to stretch. So let's say that we want to stretch Um, let's say we want to stretch this space out because we moved everything, we shifted everything over 12 inches. So we want to stretch this whole thing out, but we don't actually want to stretch the door here. So I'm going to get rid of the door. You can hold down shift and make a selection and it will deselect those elements. So let's go ahead and move it here. And you'll notice here, one thing is this door is stretching all over the place. Uh, this top one here is kind of hard to see because it was only halfway into my selection. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. We'll have to make sure we do some cleanup afterwards. Let's pull this over 12 inches. It looks like we have a block reference here. Now this is a fantastic example of, of 
not really paying attention to how your drawing is constructed before you start messing with it. Let's go ahead and burst that. Okay. And that should be fine. And we're going to move, we're going to use the stretch command again here and pull this another 12 inches. And there we go. This whole thing's been adjusted for the 12 inch shift that we made. Now you'll notice here that this toilet uh, is a little worse for wear because of the 12 inch shift. So let's go ahead and shift that back 12 inches. There we go. And that's good to go. Now, this is another fantastic time that we have to time uh, opportunity we have to use the the stretch command here. You can see that we had this closet and now the closet's really tiny. So let's go ahead and stretch here. We use the stretch command. And I'm going to select here, but I'm going to deselect the door. And the reason is because I don't want the door to stretch. So I'm going to stretch this over 12 inches. But it's okay for this. No, oh, it's not okay for this. This is going to be an interesting door. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to move this. Oops. Whole thing over 12 inches. And we'll stretch this vanity out 12 inches. And then what we can do is we can move this door. 12 inches and there we go so we've accommodated everything except for this which also needs to be stretched out 12 inches so that is an example of how to use the stretch command um, again the thing to remember I've said it before and I'll say it again is that whatever you keep in your selection is going to be what stretches you can always overshoot and then remove things afterwards. It's always better to err on the side of getting more data and pruning it than it is to get little data and try and add to it, specifically with the stretch command. So let me show you how that, how that works. Let's say I go to make a stretch and I select that and I realize, oh shoot, I only selected that corner and I want to get the rest of it. Now if I make a second selection here, things are going to get a little funny. You'll notice here not everything stretches the right way, and the and, and again this is this is a function of trying to retrofit your drawing with the stretch command, which doesn't work very well. The retrofitting aspect, the stretch command is fantastic, but the so so what you want to do, um, I'm going to turn these off here really quick. Let's see, one dim a. Here we go. Turn that off. What you want to do is you want to use your stretch command and you want to make sure you get everything possible. And you say, oh, I don't want to stretch these elements here. They're selected. Let's hold down the shift key, deselect them, and then when you go to stretch, you should be good to go. So let's pull that up 12 inches as well. So that's the stretch command in eight and a half minutes. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, Go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Stretch command can be a bit of a, of a bother to work with um, until you get the hang of it. And once you get the hang of it, you'll wonder how you ever got by without it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And if you thought this video was good, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like it, share it. If you thought this video was fantastic, amazing, life-changing, go ahead and keep subscribing. I'll bring you more of them. And I will see you in the next video.